hopefully another week and not once again another back-to-back podcast because Jit fucking abandoned me last week. So he has to do two in fault. one week. Yeah, that, to, for, to be fair, it was not Jit's fault, okay? Jit's Jit, which is his girlfriend, <laughs> just Jit's told him, Jit. no, we're doing this now. Yeah. <laughs> I can understand that. Yeah. Now, once again, it infuriates Jit to no end. It makes me unbelievably fucking happy. Like, I- I'm the one getting cucked, too, and I'm I'm still so happy because it's like, Jit has yeah, to what experience what Jit fucking deals with, or does to me every week, and it's just, it makes me so happy to... Yeah, the world is right when I'm... It bounces out. Yeah, exactly. I, I actually, um... I can't wait to go fucking take a shower after this, because, like, for me, when I shower after work, I, I it's like the I, I get a full burst of energy. I'm ready to fucking rock and roll again. It's going to be great. I feel the same way. I usually try and shower in the morning, though, to get that energy burst uh, when I'm sleepy, groggy, and I want to kill myself. I shower twice a day, so... Oh, that's excessive. Now, I will say, the post-work shower... We're not lathering up. We're like putting a it's little not bit a deep clean. Yeah, we're, we're putting a little bit to get like product out of my hair, and that's about it. Yeah. Um, I had a buddy in high school who showered in the morning to get ready for school. Okay. As soon as he was done school, he'd take all his clothes off. Yeah, as you do. Uh, wash them and then shower. Okay. And then before going to bed, because yeah. he didn't want to go to bed sweaty. Yeah. He'd shower again. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't that know if I could. Sense. I don't know if I could jack off that many times in my life That's in one lot. day. Yeah. <laughs> the man was running showers like it was a Olympic event. Yeah. A special Olympic event. Throwback yes. to last week. Yeah. L- last week. <laughs> that is correct. Last week. <laughs> oh, that was so good. What's new with you, man? Nothing. Am I the most frequent guest? You are now. I think you might actually be. Absolutely. Aside that. from. Mm, how many has Austin been in? Ooh, true. Austin might have you oh, beat. Yeah, However, Austin, Austin is always on the brink of a mental breakdown. <laughs> so Which makes him even better. It's spicy. So Austin was actually going to get two appearances out of the day, but instead he had a, a mental breakdown and is probably driving to my house as we speak. Uh-oh. So, I can't yeah. wait to have the... I, I'm going to have to go drive over to Minnesota now once a week and just be there for the podcast. Dude, I... If Austin moves up here, I unironically think that it would improve his life tenfold because he would have, like... It's fucking insane for me to say this sentence out loud, but bear with me. Having a reasonable and responsible adult in his life to keep him on track with things. Which Where does are, he live? Yeah, is in California. Like, uh, SoCal. He went to high school with me. Ah. Uh, because, like, I, I would that. never describe myself as a reasonable or responsible adult. Except for if I'm taking care of Austin, in which case suddenly I am like the greatest <laughs> caretaker of all time. But um, I think it would be do very good for his brain to get into like a nice routine because um, <clears throat> I'm a fucking insane person when it comes to routines. Especially now that I'm working again, like my plan is to be like a 20 hour a week employee. But right now I'm at 40. And trying to balance working 40 hours a week with raiding four times a week, doing D&D, doing fucking podcasts and editing, my brain is going to f- fucking rot out of my skull. Listen, I've been telling you for years that, hey, you know, working 40 hours a week and doing other shit fucking sucks. And you're like, just quit your job. I don't understand. Yeah. Just do other things. Yeah. Well, also, uh, to clarify, shit. I, the other things that you're talking about is like hanging out one time a week in Discord. This is the, the thing that I'm like, Jit, why don't you do this one thing? And you're like, it's just not a time. I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> you knew the amount of repairs and projects uh, I'm building? Like, oh, my yeah. car alone? No, I, I, I feel you. Like, <laughs> like my, my schedule is like, I plan shit out to like the fucking like 15 minute mark of my days where it's like, no, I only okay, have this Steven much probably. time. Yeah. I like uh, once I'm done petting Posey, I'm gonna go blow smoke my pregnant wife's face and hit her a bunch. <laughs> last week, throwback. <laughs> yes. Rooks, did you see the uh, Stephen Crowder uh, screaming at his lovely pregnant wife? Oh, okay. No, I did and, not. Yeah, she's been last week's episode. It's so crazy. Yeah, yeah. How did you not watch last week's episode that wasn't recorded five minutes ago? I, just, I didn't get to it yet. I see. Yeah. Okay. Busy life, eh? Busy day. Yeah, on the yeah. backlog. Yeah, it's crazy, you know, the 40 hours thing. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, that Based. fair. I, I bought out all the pretzels at the uh, vending machine at work. I felt bad. Why would you do such a monstrous thing? Well, also, I, I, why'd you need that many strap. pretzels? 
Because I can't imagine that only having two bags of pretzels in there. You went through and spent $57 on your last bib. It's been seven days. They haven't restocked it. I was getting two bags of pretzels a day. That's 14 bags of pretzels. Okay. A week. I, I may have bought some pretzels for the nice young ladies in my department. You know, oh. we start adding up pretzels, you know. Um, also, food is expensive. Yes. Like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. I like, because obviously, I like, I, but my only knowledge of food prices, like, is it's mostly like, yeah, is mostly like pre COVID and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, yeah, like, why is like I forgot food costs money. I was just not eating it before. I was just starving. Yeah. So that's that was exciting to be like hey, seven dollars for a hamburger. Like mm -hmm. have you lost your fucking mind. Like oh, it's, it gets wild. Like if it I don't wild. if I don't bust right now, first bite, I'm killing the chef. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh. So you know that's one way to do it. I went to Subway and I got. Like you remember, like Subway used to be like the five dollar foot yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. I got I got a foot long and a bag of chips and a drink, and it was sixteen dollars. Jesus yep. fucking Christ, man! <laughs> like, My sub alone right now is like thirteen dollars just yeah. to get the sub. Yeah. It is wild. It is not poggers. No, it isn't. It isn't poggers. Yeah. They for like two weeks, Subway had a deal on locally that was like, if you buy three subs, it's twenty bucks, which was like okay, seven bucks a sub. A little less than that, but then uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so I abused the Man. shit out of that. Yeah. I was getting three subs a day for like a week straight, and then they stopped the promotion, and they said it's not coming back. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, there's a local yeah. pizza place near me that's like relatively well priced, but then they have fifty percent off weeks where everything's fifty percent off, and I'm like, I am buying <laughs> fucking fifteen three dollar pizzas. That are like stock up extra large pieces and they're massive and they're delicious yeah. as fuck. Heck yeah. And I'm like, how do you stay in business with people like me? Just because <laughs> there's only one of deals. you, there's one of you and like 50 idiots that come in on the oh, double the price Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, well. Shit, have I told you the only time I've almost lost my fucking mind on a retail worker? No, I can't the, believe you'd ever be like that. Though. I didn't, though. And it wasn't even her fault. It was like... So, I was working out of town at the time. Right. And driving there and back every day to see my girlfriend at the time. And I yeah. think, like, we broke up, like, that Friday. and Or, like, that Thursday. And I still, like, came down or whatever. So, like, we talked. And, like, she went to my shit back. And I, I drove back up to work. So, it's like, I'm driving, like, fucking six hours a day just to, like, break up with this bitch. Yeah. And... On the radio, I keep hearing unlimited chicken tenders and fries at Applebee's. Fucking nine dollars, bottomless fries and chicken tenders. And I and every fucking minute, I'm just thinking like, dude, I'm gonna get fucking so many French fries as soon as I'm back. <laughs> like that Saturday, I'm not leaving Applebee's. Okay, I'm living in the <laughs> Applebee's. Okay, that's that's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. I fucking so me and my girlfriend break up, so I don't like go on Friday night. And I'm like, I'll go Saturday morning or like Saturday noon. I pick up my friend. And I like had a long ass fucking week. The emotional toll that has been taken on me from bucking this breakup. I'm just I'm at my lowest. I fucking yeah. sit down and I'm like, can I get the bottomless chicken tenders and fucking oh, no. French fries? Uh oh. It is like twelve oh three p.m. She looks me in the eyes and she goes, "That promotion ended at noon, actually. <laughs> Literally seconds before I arrived." <laughs> and. Obviously, the way I actually responded, but I was like, oh, that's okay. I'll, I'll just take the burger and this. Oh, yeah. yeah. No problem. Oh, we've mm -hmm. been there. What I that wanted to do plan. was grab her by the back of her fucking, the nape of her <laughs> neck and say, what do you mean, you dumb bitch? I want my fucking fries! And then, like, bludgeon her head in. Um, and, like, it wasn't even her fault. You know, it's just the policy. But, like, the fucking, like, I've never been more defeated in my life than that moment. She was yeah. just like, Ooh, we just the bottom. that no, ended the bottom, three so minutes ago. Yeah, and just I I was like the I thought of killing her, and she had no part of it. This was a corporate <laughs> decision. I just remember thinking like I could kill this bitch. I could. It's I'd probably not in the system anymore or anything. And there's absolutely nothing she could do for you. And you know, just, well, I have yeah. to take it out on someone. Yeah, 
And, you know, I was just, I remember like, just wanting to weep uncontrollably. Just so sad. Yeah, it was um, the whole game plan out the window. Yeah. Well, what did you do? I just ate the fucking burger and was pissed the fuck off. I <laughs> fucking, it was such a shit burger. So how was the food? I thought it was great. I fucking tipped well, her nice when I left. Excellent. I was so fucking mad. Yeah. Well, I'm sure the burger was fine. I was just so fucking mad about the fucking bottomless yeah. fries and tenders that like it was like it skewing my yeah. your food bugs. Like literally, as she said, like we ended that at noon. Like my entire world went from vibrant colors to like a fucking <laughs> dull gray scale. It was fucking. It took me a while to fucking yep. crawl out of that hole. That makes me think that. uh you would have abused the fuck out of the food program at the local university we had. Probably. Which was for ten dollars, you that was the entrance fee to get into the cafeteria. No time limit. Constant food twenty four seven. Yeah, that's they're going, stock. They're getting fucked by me. I'm yeah. I'm turning them out. The amount of friends I had and like they just bring me in too. They'd be like, No, no, no just give me ten bucks and I'll put you on my student card. We'll pretend like you go here. Like, okay. That's it's genius. Like, <laughs> just bring your books and your laptop, study here for the next 16 hours, uh -oh. and you just have all your meals covered for $10. You know, it's great. So, I, I'm, so shit, I know for a fact that you're on the opposite end of the spectrum, okay? I don't steal, like, ever. <laughs> How do you know Jit's on the opposite end of the spectrum? Shit talks about all the shit that he's stolen constantly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, he's gone. Goodbye. Oh, I need your camera back, shit, so I can. You're fucking up the overlay. But, um. Yeah, no. So I don't steal, like, ever. Um. And I remember. Same. And, yeah, shut the fuck up, shit. So, like, the, the cafeteria was, like, really easy. I mean, we had really good cafeteria. Outstanding fries and chicken tenders. And, like, the chef quit. And the quality just tanked. But um, for like three years, outstanding fucking food. And um, it was like relatively cheap. And people would just steal all the time from it. And I think it's why the chef got fired. The food went to shit. But the food used to be so good. And I would always pay for it. My friends would be like, you're such a fucking square, dude. Paying for your fucking food. And it's like, dude, it's like, real losers. it's like $3 for like chicken tenders and fries. This is a great deal. And the food is good as fuck. The deal and, of a lifetime. And they just they would just constantly steal. And they would always try and peer pressure me into it. And it's like, no, I don't steal. Swift, I feel yeah. like you got something to say. I got nothing. Okay. Are, do you steal a lot? I do not condone stealing. Well, nobody here steals. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, we all know that I have been charged and convicted. That's, yeah, Rooks is, in fact, a convicted fucking candy bar guilty thing. as charged. Oh. That is oh. one of the most absurd fucking... Like, I can't... Because, like... There's just no wrongdoing on your part. You just got lucky. Mm -hmm. Like, the vending machine just gave you two. Uh, you know what? I might have been a little brash about it. If anything, I, I might be guilty of milking it for the content. That's fair. Um, by putting it on Snapchat. Uh -huh. but, but no, it was not... It was not a... Uh, you know, I don't look at it as an on-purpose theft, but more or less... It wasn't a uh, conscious effort. Taking advantage of uh yeah is that really stealing or is it just the machine messed up yeah, and that's the a, came out? that's how I that's feel. the way I look at it they yeah. looked at it as like like what are you gonna do that stick your hand back yeah. up in there and put it yeah. back in its yes. slot that that's they the ultimate that, bootlicker moment they yeah, said that's... that I should have reported it to a supervisor which is probably the like most giga cuck thing that anybody <laughs> could ever yeah. have done in that so, situation yeah they they probably would have fired you, you if you did that. Can you yeah. imagine going with Super Ryan and be like, sir, uh, the machine gave me an extra soda. I wanted to turn it in. Like, what the fuck do you want me to do with it? Drink it, you idiot. Yeah, like, You'd be fired on the spot. No, I, I'm trying to think, balls. like, if someone, if I was, if anyone ever tried to do that shit to me, I would just be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Enjoy your free soda, you dumb motherfucker. Don't ever waste my yeah. time with this shit again. Get out of my office. <laughs> yeah. Unless they were coming to let me know, like, hey, soda's free over there. Yeah. <laughs> you know they must have really wanted to fire you that's the only explanation they they didn't but they were like oh, we totally could right now and i was like over a right. soda pop 
You Fuck, should. dude. Like, here's a dollar, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I didn't, so this might just be a Minnesota thing. I did not realize that, like, vending machines are one of the few things that the fucking, um, what's it called? Inflation just hasn't touched yet. Oh, speak for yourself. Okay, yeah. My vending I, machines have doubled in cost. Okay, yeah. Like, I go there and it's like, you know, oh, a bag, like a big ass bag of pretzels, a dollar. And I'm like, at the fucking store, this would be like two dollars. Like, what the fuck? So, I've, I've been abusing. Now, I will say the one place they cuck you, raw candy bars. Yeah. I'm, you're getting raped for buying. It's like a dollar 75 for a Snickers bar. Why Notice how this no longer wrong? says 99 cents. That's not good. There's yeah. no 99 cents on there. Arizona. Dollar 79. That's fucked. No. Dollar fucking right. 79. Oh, what? Right. oh, Arizona tea. Yeah, the day the Costco dog, you know, increases in value, that's when we know we're truly fucked. But we're still at a dollar fifty. Have, like that's like one of my favorite historical moments is like the fucking CFO or whatever of Costco being like, if you if you raise the price of a hot dog, I'll rape your family. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> like have, uh, like the actual like transcript is insane. It, it, like, like he's actually like, I will fucking kill you. Let me find it. Costco hot dog price story. Let's see it. Hopefully it's a real story. My yeah, wife sure loves is. Costco. Yeah, so apparently one of the guys suggested they rise raise the price and he verbatim said, I'll fucking kill you if you try and raise the price yeah. of the fucking Costco dog. You know what? Good that, for him. That's the exact response I would have to most Good for him for making is, a stand. Thank you. For the Costco dog. Yeah, like just to imagine somebody like, has to fight. Yeah, no, like that's one of the few times the CEO I feel like has been for the American people. When he, that's you know, so true. he looked his like little fucking guy who's like, if we increased it to a dollar fifty three, we'd be. He's like, I will kill you. I will drive to your house. I will kill you. I will kill your wife. I will kill your children. Okay, I will drive to your grandmother's yeah. house. I will kill her too. <laughs> like, don't ever for the rest of your fucking life talk about raising the price of a Costco hot dog. Okay, guy's a fucking champion of the people. And and they're and like he he won't be in history books, right? The, like fucking Joe Biden will be in the fucking yeah. history books. But like, President of the United States, what about CFO of fucking Costco? <laughs> Guys should be recognized for a statement like that. It's fucking ridiculous. That's like that. Those are the American values we fucking we need to keep. Also, it turns out it was the Costco co-founder talking to the CFO. Um. The CFO was like, "What? We could increase it," and the CFO governors were like, "You'll die. <laughs> like, your body will still be fucking like the second that thing takes over to one five one. Uh, there's a mallet getting embedded in the base of your fucking spinal column." He's like, "Oh, I guess we'll keep it at a dollar fifty. Guess we're not doing it. Yeah, find something else." Um. Minnesota, I don't know. So I don't know how nearby Costco you guys are. Are all of your food for food forts, food courts food. outside? Food Absolutely court. not. No. How many? How? Wh what? What, what do, you do you mean, mean by, by food, food court? court? You talking about a mall? Are you going no. to the yeah? Oh, you going to the mall? It, it, the Costco, no, Costco food court. <clears throat> the Costco food court. Oh, like a food court in the grocery store? What the fuck are? You, do you guys <laughs> not go to? Co <laughs> Wait. I go to Costco. No, what's weekly. happening? There's no food I, court in your Costco. Do they you, sell food? You mean like where you get the pizza and where you get the smoothies? Yeah, traditionally Cosby, you get the food and you eat food it. Food like court. court, you it's dumb not, motherfucker. A, food court has a lot of implications to no, it. No, it doesn't. This one is a pretty clear one. No, you're no, just, you're wrong. No, like no. where they're making Rook, stuff. Rooks was right when he said food what court, fuck? like a mall, like because that yeah. means there's a bunch of types of foods within this no. food court. No, you're. I don't there's think a kitchen. There's are where you they... referring to the whole grocery store as like a food court? No, no, he's referring to where you I... walk up and get your yeah. hot dog as a food court. Okay, where you get like their food that they made. So you to eat there. if you just look up Costco food court, that's what they call it. First of all, it, Hold it's on, man. let me know. the Costco food court menu. <laughs> let me just say, I don't have a Costco near me. Okay, that and and you're excused from this punishment. So however. So. But I'm just like, really so did confused. you know that the Costco where you get the hot dog is called the food court? Oh, yeah, she knew. Okay, I'm yeah. retarded. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, we are all aware. Yeah. I, the, you know, you, 
Yeah, that's okay. good. We're good. Everything's fine. I know what you're saying. We 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 have these in in some stores. Like okay. we have a store called Price Chopper mm -hmm. where we have one of these. Price Chopper is the name of the store. Yeah, Price Chopper is very that's big impressive. in my area. I see. They chop prices. That's good. That's... I love that. Yeah, we do like yeah. that. I like getting pretty, big chops. Pretty, pretty good spot actually. I I couldn't be like a store manager because like I would like they like come for the commercial and I'd be like, what if we made like like the 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 price chopper and I would just like have the fucking the prices being dismembered horribly in the ad, yeah. <laughs> just like it's a fucking <laughs> serial killer. Just gore. <laughs> So if I I love that you own a snuggie. How do, how do you like how do you rate the snuggie by the way? Dude, okay, honestly, this thing's like ten out of ten. Yeah, I, I've yeah. everyone the board, but... everyone I've talked to that has a snuggie agrees. So it's not a tech, it's actually not a snuggie. It's it is a snuggie, but not by the yeah, it's, it's it's not a branded it's snuggie, but it's so the how this came to be fun fact. So yeah. Taylor for Christmas one Please year. Please don't pull gets, your penis out. I'm not pulling. What the hold on? I gotta get the other one. Okay. But originally, that's his wife right there. Taylor got right this Taylor. one mm -hmm. for Christmas. Yeah. And then I ended up wearing it all the time. Yeah, because it was bright pink and it reminded you of how much you like the insides of Man. men's assholes. <laughs> yes. And so I was wearing it so much. She's like, "I'm just gonna buy your own." And then so she bought me this one. But I literally, Why? if I come home from work, I take a shower and I put this on, dude. That's good. I fuck with it. I I don't I don't hate it. I have a robe that's like on this side of this uh. It's like, it's like what this is. But it's, it's got a front pocket, dude. It's so base. Nice, dude. I mean, mine also has pockets. It's, you know, it's a fucking robe. But, um, yeah. yeah, but it can fall out. You that's know, true. Yeah, that's true. Come out. Unjokingly, ro robes are dangerous. The The chance of <laughs> yeah. exposing yourself, far too high. I, I take my laundry in there. Fuck yeah. Oh my. Oh. Wait, you take your. Wait, what do you mean you take your laundry? So, so. A public place. So. In our snuggie. apartment we actually have hookups for uh washer dryer in the roof or in the second floor but our washer and dryer is electric mm -hmm. or gas and it doesn't have gas so our washer works but our dryer doesn't get a gas tank. and so I, we wash that's not a bad idea clothesline no so taylor will do the Throw she up. does she washes it and i have to oh. take it to the dryer so i yeah. take it to a community dryer so i'm like you know what I'm gonna rock my yeah. house slippers, oh my, my snuggy, and I'm taking the laundry. Don't care. Yeah, yeah. For the Fair record, Swift, I would join you. I would not be bothered at all. I'm all for comfortable outside. I don't go. What it, do you have to dress up in a tuxedo? Yeah, to clothes for the dryer, dude. Nothing. Oh, I get. I've been the last few times I've done it. Someone's always been like, nice. Yeah. Like nice, nice snuggy or whatever, and yeah. I'm like, dude, it's it's comfy day. Yeah. I'm in my comfy. Dude, most people yeah. are like slaves, and they're like they fucking get mad at you for like not conforming to fucking living like shit. Yeah, <sighs> I mock them. This is the episode I'm showing Bay because the amount of grief I catch dude. for wearing a sweater and sweatpants outside when we're like shopping. She's like, you gotta not. You yeah. look fucking disgusting. Hey, like, you know oh. how often people show up for fucking court in pajama pants? Okay, that's the one that's place. That's a regular thing. <laughs> I would not <laughs> recommend doing that's that. That's awesome. Let's I've go. I've never even seen a judge react to it. Yeah. Like, I've never even seen a judge like, hey, what the fuck are you wearing? Like, they don't even care. They're like, okay, uh, six months probation. Go away. Rooks, do you ever get, get traffic out. citations? Is that part, no. part of your job? No, you're not that guy. No, I never, I never did that thing. I never did it back when it like was part of my job, and I, uh, okay. now it's not part of my job anymore. But Absolutely based. Fuck yeah. Still wouldn't do it. You get you're a good guy. Yeah, because I've been told um, by people on the internet, so just trustworthy individuals who don't lie, <laughs> that you should just always fight a traffic ticket, no matter how guilty you are, because the cops just won't show up most of the time. There's a good chance that they won't. Okay, that was... I'd always heard I've that. I've heard that from a lot of people. There are some, though. There what are about speeding breed. tickets? There, so there are a different breed of guys that are like, I love showing up to court just to make sure. Yeah, just just to make yeah, sure you pay know, your fine, little know, bitch. Yeah, I don't know what where that mindset comes from. I don't know if there's something wrong at home. That's but Steven Crowder mindset. Giga it, 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 guys like that, like you need to watch them. There's something going on with them emotionally. I've never known anyone like that. I should have fought my speeding ticket. I was absolutely speeding, but I don't think he had the technology to prove that. <laughs> it's 
I mean, that's yeah, because they had that thing like, into it. we got you, you're going this fast. It's like, did you, though? No, well, there's like a bunch of different ways of doing it. Yeah. Like, in my state, the state police have the radar, and that's like, that's pretty solid, but we don't have that. Like, only the state police are allowed to have it. We have fucking stopwatches where, like, we wait for you to hit the first line and start the stopwatch and then hit it again when you hit the second line and it calibrates how fast you were going yeah. but they have to be like calibrated like every couple months by like a third party company and stuff like there's like a lot of shit that goes into it Yeah. so I would fight it if I got one huh. yeah. just cause there's a good chance like they probably fuck something up that's also, the one just thing I wish I could have fought was yeah. my ticket, but okay it, hear me out here though yeah. So in where I live in Kentucky, yeah, they have you know the highway, Kentucky, the Texas. inter, the interstate in Louisville, Kentucky, the interstate. Mm-hmm. You know the one that you drive across the state. Yeah, the highway. Yeah. It's not like a highway. Be a yes. big highway, like the biggest okay. highway. Yes. The speed limit is fifty-five miles per hour. That's horrible. Thanks. Yeah, that's gonna be a no for me, Chief. That is not fast enough. Let's. As a Californian who trucks are limited to 55, if you have a trailer, but like, we're still 65 or else. And then, and then I come yeah. up to here and it's like, I see a spin that's like 80 and I'm like, huh? You can just go 80? Yeah, guess what, Kentucky? I'm speeding on that interstate. Oh, and so... <clears throat> catch me if you Everyone can. does. Yeah, and they caught... Swift. And then you'll have like the grandma on the right lane that's going in the 55 miles per hour while everybody else is... Yeah. Zoom in. At least she's not in the left lane going 55. True. You do get some idiots that do that, though. And you drive by them, and it's like... I can't say it. It's a person like on their phone going 45 miles yeah, it's per hour. a person that would defeat in a game of chess. I, would, yeah, I, <laughs> I know who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's pretty cringe. Do you know what I didn't... So this is, this is another, like, um, living in California type of moment. I always heard the expression, you know, you only pass on the left, right? Use the left yeah. lane for passing. No, that's yeah. That's not a thing in California. There's too many of us. All the lanes are always just full. You're just you use every lane. Uh-huh. There is no passing lane. Th- there's too many cars. All the Don't lanes you guys are full. Have the Hove lane? Yes, we do have the HOV lane. Can you explain that to me. What is that? High occupancy vehicle. So it's okay. either a motorcycle. Um, you, so you do one, one of like several things motorcycle pay extra for it so you can go as a solo boy or electric vehicle so you either have I to have you... what's up wait never mind continue so the, you either have to have two or more people in your car oh, okay. be an electric vehicle drive a motorcycle or pay for the special HOV battle pass yeah. and then you pay every time you use the HOV Fortnite so it's uh, it's one of those things like a lot of a, a lot of businesses will do it where it's like you know because it's like you know sometimes it's like twenty bucks to go like thirty miles, but it's like no those thirty miles scam. would take you fucking four and a half hours so like it's cheaper to just have you pay the twenty bucks. Yeah. Because originally it was supposed to be like a a private entity thing that once it was paid off they would give it to the state of California and it would like they would just do it for free and they wouldn't charge you, and then they were like nah never mind. We make way too much money charging you retards to drive around the traffic. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. So, yeah, no, it does not make sense. It makes it's a, so it's a wild money. scam. Like, I get it. Uh, this is my ultimate liberal cuck moment here, dude. The roads should okay. be owned by the federal government, okay? I don't want you some fucking cringe-ass private company charging me 20 fucking dollars to go three and a half miles. She can lick yeah. my fucking taint. We'll we, uh, oh, our okay. government sold the uh, one of our highways. Yeah, it's never after it was built. Good idea. And like, okay, well, let's go up to the highest bidder, and now it's like a hundred dollars if you do the whole length of the highway, which oh, is yeah. not like it's not long. It just goes around a city. Yeah. Like, if you want to bypass Toronto traffic, you have to pay like seventy, eighty bucks. The federal government should really be in charge of very specific things, and I feel like the, the road is one of them. Definitely not everything. Literally uh, everything. Hey, How no, you, what you eat and drink, everything. Yeah, they should make your dinner. They should cook it for you. I think next week we have Hassan on the podcast. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Hassan. Hassan. He's a little Turkish boy. 
Hassan that, Piker? Yes. Uh, that's the one. Hassan Picker. I have no idea who that is. He's Ugh. just a little guy. I Ugh. don't like him too much, but you know. I don't think anybody does. That's not true. No, oh, well, he's got a fan base for sure, yeah. but I don't know why. Well, it's like H3H3. Like, I can't believe there are people that like his content. <laughs> And then oh, uh, who is that? He's a very, very cringe individual. Um, I don't know so anybody. Just, he know used anybody. to be awesome, dude. H3 used to be fucking great back in the day. Their content was awesome. It was yeah, just it was fun. He was reacting to like goofy shit and laughing, and everyone was having a good time. I and then he got he got big and he got political. Uh, the political mm -hmm. shit doesn't even bother me. Hey. I literally I stopped watching him when he made the podcast. Like, episode three of the podcast, it was like, you are one of the most uncomfortable people to listen to have a genuine conversation with somebody. I can't be a part of this. He yeah. is so much of a bumbling buffoon that it, like, is impossible to watch his content. <laughs> and he, like, I physically cringe every time I watch him. He's, like, he's, like, parsing a 2-1 charisma. Like, yeah, he's pretty bad. It's not good. Shit. I, yeah, I know. Time, yeah, man. your girlfriend loves him, and every time I see content, it makes me yeah. think that your girlfriend is retarded. <laughs> I don't know who loves him, but throws him on occasionally. Like the Steven Crowder thing, he had that clip. Yeah. So she threw him on just to like skip over to wherever that part was. Yeah. So she could watch the video. Well, it's like I don't, like I I haven't even seen it, but I like I imagine I, somehow H three is gonna make me side with Steven Crowder in that fucking episode. <laughs> Like, I swear to God, dude, he's just such a fucking beta male. It, like, the way that he talks just makes me fucking cringe. Like, he just can't communicate. There's, like, the episode where he has things like the SoFlo Antonio guy on to his podcast. It's, like, one of the most so flow. uncomfortable fucking things I've ever seen in my entire life. Because it's, like, two deeply autistic people having a conversation. <laughs> well, just, he like back right. in the day, like he lampooned Soflo Antonio. Like he went fucking in on him. Yeah, and it was great. Yeah, I don't know anybody. <laughs> uh, Soflo just used to like rip off people's content and reupload. Yeah. I don't know anything. That's okay. Well, you know a lot of like, things. You know, like he was the guy that like started the trend that like they do it on TikTok a lot, where like you'll put somebody's video on and then you'll be right next to it, like. Like, damn, that's crazy, bro. Like, oh my god! Like, he started that. Yeah, like 10, 15 years ago. On also, Vine. Oh, way before. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah, yeah. He was. Yeah, this, this, is like, ago, this is like this is like Facebook Shorts, like original Instagram reels. Yeah. If nothing else, that kid was fucking ahead of the game, man. Yeah. He was a visionary. Yeah. Like, actually ahead of the game, like decades ahead of the game. Yeah, I won't lie, guys, but this next video is totally me, and then just play somebody else's video. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. and get, like, hundreds of thousands of views. Yeah. And that was, like, back when CPMs were paying so much. Like, it... Dude, when I, when I think back to YouTube 10, 15 years ago, it's always just, like... How the fuck did the advertising department get the green light for this? Like... I think if you made literally any content, anything, it would have yeah. been watched. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's really now weird. Now everyone's making content. True. Fuck, I have to sneeze. Bless you. You have to be able to really get away with some shit. Yeah. You could basically <laughs> record, like, Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, Sorry, yeah. what? Twice pushing it. Yeah. Yeah, come on, man. Chill Sorry, out. Sorry, man. I apologize. They gave you one, and you took two. Yeah, that's fair. You give Bring a sneeze, take a sneeze. No, it's, it's fair. A sneeze is always coming, too. If anybody sneezes thrice, that's, that's greedy. They're up to something. Something shady. Yeah. Something's going on there. It is so weird to think about, like... It, it makes sense, but whenever I think about it, I'm, I wish to how fucking That's retarded it. I am for not making more YouTube videos. Where it's like, the only way for someone to find and become a fan of your YouTube videos is if you make YouTube videos. Yep. Yeah. Uh, tracks. Yeah. Yeah. So, so why don't you create YouTube videos? I do. Dude, mm. I don't have the drive to do it, man. I would love to. Like, I, I wish I could. And I always thought, like, oh, like, I should start, like, trying to, like, you know, make funny stuff and, like, put myself out. I can't do it, man. I just it's can't takes, find the motivation. It takes so much effort. And, like, you'll, like, you'll watch, you'll watch yourself do something. And you'll be like, wow, I am unbelievably cringe. And it did not come off nearly as, like, smooth yeah. as I wanted it yeah. to. 
And it's like, no, you just have to keep doing it, and eventually it will just come out smoothly, and you'll be you'll be uh-huh. fucking rolling. Listen, Rick, this is your stepping stone. We're we're launching you off here. We're this is the soft. That's true. This is definitely helping get my name out there to the masses. It is. Like yeah. this. The people they yearn for Rook. They say, "Hey, that's why I'm that such a frequent guest." Yeah. Listen, my my last three YouTube videos have all gotten over a hundred views. All right, so just out of nowhere, somehow there are retards that watch. My, also, I'm not counting podcasts. I gotta fact check that. I'm uh, not counting podcasts, mind hmm. you. I'm just counting like main channel uploads of like the. I gotta fact check what, that. I'm looking at it right now. One fifty-seven. Yeah. Two seventy. Yeah. Ninety-eight. Yeah, ninety-eight. And then one seventeen. Uh, you said the last three. I'm just sorry if I forgot to count. I said bad. last four. First yeah. of all, mm-hmm. we'll check them. We'll check I them. don't remember what he said. It's been too long. Where do you um, post? Like, do you share them to like anywhere just besides like our Discord? Nope, I don't. These are this literally. There are just other people that like. I think they get sent to other Discords by other people that I don't know. Or like, there's like one. I think there's like one dude in another Discord that follows my channel. That when I upload, he posts it in the other Discord. Hmm. And I've I've we never to start broadcasting it on the subreddit again. Unjokingly, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I've never met this guy. Like, I do, I don't know him at all. But he posts my shit in like a different Discord. He's never like left a comment. But he's just he a dude. Reach out. He sounds like a cool dude. Yeah, he probably is. Send him a signed thing. Yeah, I was, what the fuck am I gonna sign? It? Like, I don't know. Are are any of your characters blacksmiths? Make him something. I don't think I'll... he plays on our server. Are you sure? I have no Google idea. Google blacksmith on a different server. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Stop looking for cop outs. That's fair. Some initiative. True. This is your fault. Yeah. A little bit of respect and dignity. R e s p e c t. Find out what being gay means to me. Um. Feels so good. Yeah. Lyrically beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. I'm uh. Yeah. I do. I didn't realize how few people sing songs and just change the lyrics to being gay until um. I started thinking about the fact your life. that no one but me I know ever does that. <laughs> it's just me. Like, yeah, like that glamorous song. Ever since I was a kid, it, 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 you, you never spell glamorous. Is yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no roots. You. You yeah. have the yes. That was me. That was. I didn't. I was like unironically singing the song. It was like flying yeah. first class, and someone was like, "Oh, like I'm glad you're singing it that way. Don't do it the other way." And yeah. I was like, <laughs> "What's the other way?" And I had no idea. And Irma messaged me on the side, and I was like, "Oh, that's so good! Like, how <laughs> did I not think of that?" Yeah, dude. No, yeah, I forgot. You were one of the of the only people I know that will also. I couldn't believe that you will remix songs to be just. All the time, awesome man. and terrible, and it's great. I, yeah, I remember that I, now. I do it. I do it constantly in my everyday life. It's yeah, it's almost like a curse. Yeah, it really is. Cause like uh, like um, a normal person or like a girl will hear you do it, and they're like, "What just happened?" You're like, just "Don't worry yeah. about it, man." I do it in front of my girlfriend all the time. She's numb to it. She go. doesn't even react to it anymore. <laughs> that's good. Uh, I've had less favorable girlfriends. They're they're just like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, so yeah, much. Yeah, listen, yeah, I've I've had some in the past as well who were not a fan of those kind of antics. Yeah, and, 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 and uh oh, yeah. So it is crazy uh-huh. how normal your wife is compared to how swift you are. You know, yeah. what? When you, I mean, it balances out if she's like ultra normal and Swift's just like fucking out there. Yeah. Well, so hear me out, Swift. Right. Your wife says I don't like that. When you say a lot of things, right? And then you'll talk about licking a man's butthole or literally showing another man your butthole. And your wife, I feel. Yep. I can't believe she didn't wave at us. Yeah. And your wife, I feel like at no point in your life has been like, Swift, it's so funny when you show other (laughs) men your asshole. And that's acceptable. I think it's a funny bit that you do. And I wish you would do it more, actually. Yeah, she's never said that. Yeah, I if I had to guess, I, she would probably say something along the lines of, "Benji, why do you do this? Why must you show men no, your she, butthole?" She, she really would say, "Don't do that again." And then just, you would. Don't do it. And you would right continue now. to do the behavior. I never did that. For sure. It's, it's a real guy humor kind of thing. Yeah. No, I I've never done the butthole reveal, but like I know friends who have done it in like the group chat and stuff. And yeah. 
It's um, good to keep in the back pocket, just in case. Well, I explained to my I girlfriend what the brain it. was. Like, uh... Oh, wait, you guys know the brain? No, I, I'm assuming it's the, the nut sack, is my understanding. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. I showed that to my girlfriend, like, a couple weeks ago, because I was like, oh, like, I did the brain in the group chat. That was pretty funny. And she's like, what is that? And I was like, turn around for two seconds, and I'll tell you when to turn back. Yeah. And I did, and she's like, why do you guys, like, that's so weird. Now, without knowing what the brain is, I'm assuming you're just grabbing your nut sack and sort of, like, crumpling it together so it looks like a brain. Yeah, you kind of, like, you kind of... Demonstration, please. You turn no. it. <laughs> you just kind of like you flip this. it up so that that's yeah. on the upper part, and you just pop that out of your pants. So okay, all you see is yeah, like yeah. a little brain. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that yeah. I, I can visualize it. Well, it's like in, in gym class. Did you ever have the kid who's always sitting in gum? He's like, oh, I sat in some gum, and it's just he's stretching his nutsack out across his like thigh. No, no. that Wait, one happened. I haven't seen that. <laughs> that one happened a lot. You assaulted. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's like. The girls wouldn't think that that's funny, but yes. it's well, funny to guys. Well, no, maybe guys. they do in the locker room. No, no, I talked to Spiv about this. I was like, Spiv, at you any talk point. talked to Spiv about this. Yeah, that's... I don't talk to other girls. Well, so there's more to so this. So it's an interesting, like, you think, that's like saying, I, I don't, actually don't have a comparison. Yeah. I feel. So I said Spiv, like, when you were ever, because she did, I don't know, probably sports. I don't fucking know. I was like, Spiv, when you were, like, growing up in school, at any point, did any of your, like, your little girlfriends go, like, Oh my god, I'm Batman. Here's the Bat Cave. And like turn and like stretch their pussy open to you. Like, did that ever happen? And she's like, No. Why would you ask that? And I was like, Yeah, see? I was talking to, to Manaclon. And I was like, Yeah, girls don't talk like that. Like, no, girls are never hanging out with each other, being like, You know, oh my god, Swift Ina, I bet you're just so grippy today. I just want to fucking eat your pussy. Like, that doesn't <laughs> happen. And then Spiv said, Well, no, one time. And I said, Do tell continue and then she told a story about how she was playing her little project zomboid game and one of her friends was like um she's like oh my boyfriend's coming over so i've got my like kegel ball in my pussy to make me extra grippy and oh it was like God. huh but wait, but that's also like a different thing though even yeah. to how men act that's like just a statement of fact of like i have my my gripinator 5000 in whereas like yeah. men will literally just be like Hey, listen here, Jimbo. If you don't calm down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay it down, spread that ass open, and play you like a fucking flute. Whereas I don't think, uh, I don't think women are ever like I don't, I, just, I just can't imagine women ever being Not like if you breath. don't, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna eat your pussy right now. Like, yeah, I don't think that happens. They should really work on that, honestly. Yeah, go ahead and ask Taylor if she's ever said to one of her friends. We'll see how that one goes for you. On the phone, or I definitely okay. would. Oh, okay. well, that's just two opinions at once. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh hey, no, Taylor. this is a bad. Idea. Are you on the phone with? Can I ask you a question? Uh oh. Huh? <laughs> she said, "Hold on, we're almost done." Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is not yeah, good. It's definitely something. We you can ask Meg too, actually. Oh. Yeah, oh, perfect. Two for one. I told you. Meg like, from Family. I guy? think. I think they're having a serious conversation. Oh, no, it's, yeah. more, it's a serious, friend well, yeah. like, about how know. pink their pussies are. Who's this pinker? It's a serious conversation. Oh, no, I think mine's it's a, it's pinker. A pregnant friend. Uh -oh. oh, it's always them, eh? Yeah. Always I, ruining things. We hate pregnant women. Especially um, eight months. Yeah, I would blow smoke into their face. Like, <laughs> like, so I'm pro banning smoking from buildings, but I think you should be allowed to smoke if there's a pregnant lady nearby. Like, she sort of acts as a mobile yes, smoking like area. It, like a yeah. yeah, she's a walking smoking. <laughs> yes, yeah, as long as you're within five feet of her, yeah. you can smoke. <laughs> oh, that's fucking awful. Oh. Swift, yeah, what I have not been up to date on Steven Crowder. I did not hear about any of that. Yes. I hadn't heard about it either till yes. last week. He, uh, his wife is divorcing him. He's very <laughs> mad that the state of Texas allows his wife to divorce him. He does not like there being singles party divorces. He thinks that uh, you you should both have to agree to get divorced, which I feel like. Yeah. Is and one as long of... as he doesn't agree to it, she's yes! just stuck. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. This, is, this is a base take. No, this is a fucking retarded take. Because <laughs> oh, you're just red pilled, bad. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, you're just bad. Because you if imagine... you're married, you'd understand. That's all like, fucking. You just kill you. don't get it. Yeah, you just don't get it. If you were, if married, you were yeah. married, you would know. I'm mm -hmm. close enough to married that I'm on Swift's side, you know. If my woman wanted to leave me before I was ready for her, yeah, no. yeah, 
I mean, I'll I'll knock her lights anywhere. out. Yeah, I own you. <laughs> okay, this, this isn't a marriage certificate. Okay, this is a certificate of ownership. You dumb <laughs> yeah. bitch. Okay, you got, you got her pink slip. Yeah, that's what it says. Pink. Uh oh, the grippy Uh-oh. slip. The grippy slip. You know the um the end of the Spider Verse movie where he gets the little he goes to the hamburger place and he gets the French fries and he like licks his fingers clean. No, he, oh, okay. um, spoilers. Yeah, sorry yeah, for a movie that came out. This. Fuck. Well, how, how many years ago did this come out? Fucking Into the Spider Verse. I haven't seen it. I've been told to see it like oh, a it's thousand fantastic. times. I haven't seen it. It came out five years ago. Very good. I recommend it. Um, <clears throat> what one there? But you know, it's a it's a good fucking movie. I feel like there haven't been good movies in the last couple of years. Can you see the last good movie you saw? <clears throat> the the like, Mario movie was pretty good. Okay. Uh, I loved uh, the the new Spider Man one, No Way Home. Uh, that one was actually pretty good. That one got me kind of emotional. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, little Tobey Maguire, little Andrew Garfield. Uh, dude, I that's that's my Spider Man. I grew up with that man. To- Tobey you know Maguire I mean? like, or uh, Andrew Garfield? Toby. Toby. Like seeing Toby Mac come out of that portal was like, yeah. oh, it's him. I I did I did like that a lot. Um, oh, that was good. I wish I had seen it on the big screen. I'm a big fan of like going to the movies yeah yeah seeing something on the big screen is definitely uh it's an experience now i've been now spoiled by the movies too where i can't do anything unless it's like the vip treatment yeah the the leather coach and like yep that like has the electric switches that fold your feet up and everything yeah i love it i can't do like a simple Mm -mm. no that's for peasants yeah so i've only ever been to like three types of movie theaters um, the movie theaters back home in California, which are the very nice ones, like recliners. You don't get served food there necessarily, but like you, there's areas to eat and shit. That's a- but so many fucking people, too many people, they talk and they're annoying and there should be like the bubble that they always talk about where it's like the outside of the bubble, you can talk in the bubble. You can't talk, but if you talk, you get kicked out of the bubble. Yeah. Um, then I went to like one of those places where you could fucking eat, like, eat dinner while you watch the movie. Mm-hmm. One of the worst experiences of my fucking life. People really? would not shut the fuck up. They kept rubbing their fucking knives onto the plate, so you're like, ah, ah, ah. And it's <laughs> like they're just eating uh, fucking sirloin. Yeah, while you're trying to watch the Lego yeah, movie. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I think I was literally watching the Lego movie. I was very. Why was, are you here? It was very fucking annoying. And then the theater up here, which is a fucking S tier theater, it's got the recliner chairs that are like. Re- you can yes. fall asleep, bro. You're going 180, like if yeah. you wanted to. And no one goes to the movies up here. I've gone to movies like seven or eight times. I think I've seen fucking four other people. It's amazing. The movies up here nice. are fucking phenomenal. It's it's a dying industry. Yes. With um, like Amazon Prime and like oh yes. you could rent it right from home now. Like who's gonna go oh, out yeah. when they can I just stay it, home? I hope the I hope government subsidizes so it. Yeah, I, I'm I'm yeah. hoping the government steps in and goes, movie theaters are an important thing that needs to be preserved. They yeah. are. It's a cultural thing. I fucking now, I see love that movies. actually happening up here. See like, what our with our uh subsidized radio and television thing? Yeah. Oh true. I can see them actually subsidizing. Yeah. Theaters. You know, I saw Fist Fight in the movie theater once. Go continue. It was at the NWA movie. Okay, okay. And I was there enjoying the movie uh, with with a, a lady. And just a couple rows down, we started to hear some raised voices and looked down. And there was, you know, five or six people standing up, yelling back and forth at each other. And then sure enough, fists started flying. Ushers came running in. You know, everything was, it was a clusterfuck. Like, it wasn't like a great, like, fucking, you know, Tyson Fury boxing yeah. match or anything. It was, it was a, a fuck fest. Yeah. Just people grabbing onto each other. But uh, the ushers ran in, they grabbed them. They got it all under control within a couple of minutes. We put the movie back on, but then we all got a free voucher on the way out for a free oh. movie next time. That's... So then you just need one person from your group to always movie. fight. To fight. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Be the fall guy. You can get a free movie. It was awesome, though. It was really cool, and I wouldn't have experienced that if I just rented it on Amazon yeah. Prime, watched it at home. Yeah, it was awesome. Two people that hate their lives fucking beating the shit of each other in a public setting. It was yeah. sick. Yeah, free movie. Yeah. yeah. That's I, all that matters. 
Every day that I go to work, I'm reminded how miserable the average person is. And it makes me, like, sad to look at them. Just like, uh, oh, I don't like this. You guys are making me sad by existing in front of me. <laughs> Please stop doing this. And they keep Imagine your life if you're just 40 hour a week, you know, a wagey. Yes. But you didn't have the offline Discord or Teams. Unjokingly, I it, even just even just get rid of the Discord, and my life is like sad and pathetic, and I would hate it. Yeah. But having my birthday is a thing to look forward to. It's like, yeah, so it's few. A, it has to happen every year. Too. Yeah, so few people get to experience like that level of camaraderie and closeness. There's a little cat that's just being squished to death by Roots it right looks now. Looks like he wants to uh, run away. I love your cat, Roots. This Which is Dandy. Dandy. Dandy Lion. I, I can't no, Sandy. Yeah. Oh, Sandy, like the fucking squirrel from SpongeBob. Yeah, like as in Sandra. Yeah. <sighs> Rooks, you, when was the last time we talked to Bowser, Rooks? Oh, man. It's actually, it's been a little while since. Oh, look at that big dog. Yeah, big dog. What the dog, dog doing? Um, so Bowser, so I talk to Simi like every day. Yeah. Uh, haven't talked to Bowser in like a couple weeks. I know him and Simi are playing hardcore together that's good. that's good um but i i haven't i haven't talked to him in a little bit what get, about get the gang together for what about hardcore. what yeah, about please. matt forward slash piggy when was the last time i talked to him piggy i talked to daily good good oh, good okay um, this is good so pick, every sunday me simmy piggy uh do you magic. remember shortbread yeah shortbread is it yeah you we, play we magic? play magic yeah i, remember. Uh, I love magic cows are in but yeah. i love magic too man i just got into it a couple months ago but i'm hooked you all play commander yep there you go. Look at that. So fun. So fun. Do you know what would be great? Do you know be a great idea, Swift? What? If Piggy did what I told him to do, which is gaslight Rooks into going to my birthday party, and then you guys could talk about Magic the Gathering in real life. I've been I trying my cards. So I keep forgetting to talk to him about that. He's definitely going, right? Yes. Okay. Is Bowser, not going? Bowser is also most likely going. I want to go. I want to go. Rooks, you need, like, I, it is an experience. You need to go. No. I know. Totally a good time, buddy. Like, I I cannot emphasize this enough. The birthday is an experience, and I feel like so few people ever get to go around and interact with like that many people that like they actually like for an extended period of time. Yeah, it's 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 a very unique experience, <clears throat> and we cook. Yeah. Well. Mm. Uh, we is a strong use yeah, of the word. To clarify, yeah, we, 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 yeah, we is in like, you know, members of the group, not the we is in. The collective group. Matt, not myself. Yeah. yeah Piggy's Tyler, like, a, he's really big stuff. on cooking. He loves, he loves cooking stuff. Do, he went do, to culinary school. Do you know what's crazy? Awaya, who's not going this year, unfortunately, he's going to be catering Burning Man, is apparently like a legitimate chef man as well and works in a catering business and like, very much a cooking man. So it'd be very funny to have all three of you guys together to see the different levels of cooking experience. You know? And then there's me who's just like, could you guys just make like chicken tendies on the side for yeah. me? Could you make a grill, make grilled cheese like sandwich? Extravagant food. <laughs> I just want grilled cheese, no cheese. I'm the most plain thing. Low you could heat, think of. no butter. <laughs> warm you don't even bread. bother Matt and Alia with those things. American oh, yeah. cheese slice? Yeah. Please? Yeah, kind of get. Double fucking... cheeseburger hold the lettuce. Yeah. Don't we front and son no seeds on the bun? Yeah, fucking that's a classic. classic. Yeah, Big that's classic. A lot a lot of the youth nowadays don't know. No, oh, that was like the stone ages of like YouTube and like internet videos. Well yeah, what's that crazy was too early. is like that, that's one of those things that like there wasn't even like one guy that did it, right? There are just like hundreds of videos of like, this is me doing the McDonald's WAP. And then every yeah. every video ends the same. The employee going, What? Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's like a job. Here's me. So funny. Epic order. And it's just some poor minimum wage employee being like, yeah. You're the fifth dude this week who's fucked up the rap. Like, please <laughs> stop. Remember, uh, I think it was called Coning. Coning? Uh, yeah, where people would yes. go up, they order the ice cream cone and they just yes. grab it upside down and like smush it while they were bringing it back to their car and then yeah. drive away. Yeah. I thought that was the funniest fucking thing in the world in high school. I will say that one is at least heat comedy. I feel like that one's like incredibly harmless too. That's like one of the better pranks because like one, like you're still buying a fucking ice cream cone or whatever mm -hmm. the fuck. 
Yeah, you're making a mess on yourself. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it, it's not like you're like slapping the cone back to them, going, "Have fun with your ice cream cone, you stupid wagey fuck," and then spitting at yeah. them. Like, well, there was one called Fire in the Hole. Oh, that one. Where they would, that one doesn't that, sound very nice. Yeah, they would I, order like a large drink, and when the employee would hand it to them, be like, "Oh, thanks, man. Fire in the hole," and they just whip it back at them and take off. Now I will say, conceptually unbelievably hilarious <laughs> however, really funny, but such a dick move. however if you've yeah. done that fuck you <laughs> yeah <laughs> bad person swift, swift's looking down there like a, a weekly swift do you have a confession to make nope never did that no w <laughs> what did you do though swift well i don't know what you mean no because right you give me a look like you've abused minimum wage employees and no would... not minimum wage employees yeah, oh they were you slightly made sure above. they were paying at least slightly above no not employees <sighs> just people Oh, it's just volunteers. Oh, they're, they're not even getting paid. You're just harassing people. Yeah. What? Swift. Were they homeless? Too? I Wait, would love for you. Y'all not okay. They no, we're good people. Of, no. Whenever you were high school, junior high, you know you. No, I'm a good person. Well, I lived in a town of like five people. Well, not really, but pretty yeah. small town. And so, you know what we did for fun? Tell us. I hate crimes. We would either poop in bags. And then put them on front people's doors, set them on fire, and watch them step on them, or just ding dong ditch people. Swift, or very. Uh, well, one of those American are very <laughs> unlike the other. Or toilet paper people. So yeah, so all these you're an asshole in every scenario. One, hearing that you shit in a bag. Explain. Does that surprise you? That's no, a big it doesn't. You know but knowing that you did this as a young adult. Everything makes sense now. Why? Because he just is at his asshole out constantly. The kind of person who shits in a bag is you. That that makes no sense. Rooks, you'll know when you come to the birthday party what we're talking about. It, it takes certain commitment to actually be the one to shit in the bag. Yeah, I've thought about that before. Like, oh, I, I can respect this it. Concept. I'm of committed. Like, fire shit no, bag. I be, I understand you're committed. It's like to the bit. Oh, oh, Taylor's ready for our question. Oh, uh, well, it's a terrible question. Yeah, I, fire it, fire it off. Do, do, you, do you remember or the question? Again, so forgot. the question was going to be, it's going to be, hey Taylor, whenever hey, you Taylor. and the girlfriends are chatting, uh huh. Whenever you and the girlfriends are chatting, and one of you is getting too uppity, and one of you is getting a little uppity, do you ever say to the other one? Do you ever say to the other one, Debbie, if you don't shut up, I'm going to eat your pussy. <laughs> Debbie, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna eat your pussy. Is that look? That's the look of yeah. That's the look. Yeah, that's women it's, don't do that. That's about the look we expect. You know, they're talking about how men will make like gay jokes towards each other, but women don't jokes. make lesbian jokes. Or, yeah, well, what jokes? Next. Are you talking about? Promises. <laughs> yeah, she's not a fan. Yeah, I see. Interesting. Yeah, I think so. I figured. She just goes. Women would overthink that and then immediately assume you're a lesbian. Hell yeah. yeah! Like a real one, but like a not like one of them fake ones. Yeah, like not one of them one. clout chasing lesbians. You know how those <laughs> women get—they pretend to be lesbians to get better credit scores or something. That's how that works, right? Um, I I think I talked about this last week, but talking to literal children, basically like this nineteen-year-old about what a credit score was, was like one of the most frustrating things I've ever done in my entire life. Yeah, I don't know why you bother. So she's asking questions, and it's like, yeah, if I can like instill some financial wisdom to this nineteen-year-old, she will not buy hundreds of dollars in ship coin and be much happier with her life. No, no. So what she's gonna do is take from your explanation that so if I take out loans, I'll raise my credit score, and that's all she'll take. And that's so it. that's what one of the people I was working with was trying to say, and I had to be like, no, that's like you can just have a credit card and like just use it for gas every fucking week. And always pay off the balance, and that will build your credit. You don't need to fucking take out a loan, like to build your credit. Holy shit! It's faster. It probably is. Um, but my god, it like listening to people. I'm like, they were they didn't understand like why your credit score goes down if you don't fucking like have a line of credit open. It's like no, because your fucking credit score is just proof that you can maintain a line of credit. So if you're not actively maintaining a line of credit, your fucking score is going to go down. It's just drove me fucking insane. But you know, I, I I tried to teach her what a Roth IRA was and what Vanguard was, and once she started like doing the math of like, well, all my money will go away 
and I can't buy Tamagotchis. She, I think she was like, I am oh, not doing God. any of this financial <laughs> advice. And it's like, it's like, dude, if you just put a hundred dollars away every single week, by the time you're forty, that a hundred dollars will be a million dollars. You'll have beat the but game. You'll have a hundred less dollars every week. You'll have a hundred less dollars every week. The stock market will crash, and you will have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <Don't tell them laughs> that. Yeah, it's like um, because it's like the S and P five hundred, what the fuck, has like an average return over ten years of like ten percent per year, right? And it's like sure. if you if you put a hundred bucks in, uh, to like a Roth IRA, what the fuck, every month or every week, you know, that compounding number, it just becomes a million dollars by the time you're forty. If you start yeah. at like twenty something. But yeah. to the to the Compound average interest is like insane. Yeah, to the average person, you know, they hear a hundred dollars a week and they're like, no. I will not be doing yeah. that. Well, I mean, in the average person's defense, the average person doesn't have a hundred dollars a week. That's also true. Uh, we are, however, in a very unique position. We being the people at my job, that uh, you do have a hundred dollars a week. You know? Yeah, that's fair. Your people do. Yeah. Um. My next payday is not for like two fucking weeks, dude. I have to survive on my like my two day paycheck. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. Yeah, bi weekly. Bi weekly yeah. pay. So it's like you have to like map out oh, your it's... purchases so far ahead. I think it's yeah. better that way for me because if it was a weekly pay, I'd really fucking be spending like I'd I'd really be balling yeah, out. That's what I did. I love my weekly head. pay. I would. I'm a big fan of either weekly or monthly. It makes me plan things out so much better. Yeah. Because like weekly, mm -hmm. you can do the like hundred bucks a week. That's easy. Like I put, I delegate a hundred to this, a hundred to that, a yep. hundred to that, and then the True. leftover is paying like whatever stupid fucking like phone bill I have. Yeah. Monthly, <sighs> you can get real good because you're like, all right, this month is this. You can hit everything yeah. right on time. Yeah, I, I weekly is just the worst of both worlds. Yeah, bi-weekly is annoying too because like, yeah, the time is so short that like it just sort of feels like you just need to stockpile like fucking four months of pay so that you do have like a backlog to always dig into and replenish. Yeah. It's very annoying. Or just be like quotes and Ethel and he's like, yeah, well, I get paid every two weeks. It's only like 40 grand. It sucks. <laughs> I don't know. Like, how, how am I supposed to fucking eat, man? You just, you know, you play some fun games like quotes does where, uh, he likes to just invest casually. You know, you just need forty grand to open the account before you're allowed. Yeah, to Yeah, it's invest. just a exactly. little startup. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're a little bit of pocket change. change. Yeah. Everyone knows. Yeah, a couple, couple dollar hairs. It, well, yeah, it's like multi thousand dollar hairs. Yeah, I I should I should be smarter with my money, but it's it's tough, man. Mm -hmm. There's there's lots of fun stuff out there that I, I want to buy. I was gonna say there's yeah. a lot of neat things. God, I Don't love this. You're bit. muted, midgets. I love this bit where I wasn't going to tell him. Oh, okay, thank you. I shouldn't have said anything. Fuck. Yeah. I told him once and he ignored it. And I was like, oh, yeah. Fuck I, I tried to tell my fucking mom. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, like, I, I, and I will say, I probably, I probably shouldn't lump Ethel into this, but quotes, May and Emma are unbelievably fucking hilarious to talk about anything, or, and Spiv and Jackus, to talk about anything finance related with because they're like, concept of a dollar is just so far removed from the average person that like it enters like comical levels of like yeah. conversation <laughs> whereas Athel is like you know understands that like yeah the average person does not just have five thousand dollars to just be like yeah i want this thing it's mine yeah. now i will own this and it's just like just just have more money poor people i don't understand <laughs> emma's like 27 dollars for a cheese pizza is fine Oh gosh, normal. Yeah, how like, you can't buy a twenty-seven dollar cheese pizza every single day of your life? It's like no. No, regret. No. You're regretless. Oh no, sure. I just want Spiv's job where I can sit at the pool and yeah. do my quote-unquote work. That's true. Well, hmm. Like well, she mentioned last week, I think. Yeah, that's fine. I was gonna say yeah, last yeah, definitely last week, not earlier today. Just uh, I, I was about to say we probably don't want to have Spiv's job because. Then Spiv be your coworker, but then I remember that no, Spiv, you would be Spiv in this scenario, because yeah. every story. I that Spiv as no, a no, you wouldn't. Every oh, yeah. story I've heard from Spiv is like, I am actively fucking this coworker because she slightly annoyed me this week, so I am not doing this thing that she needs done, and then I'm just like, oh, I'm I, I this poor other coworker is like having an anxiety attack about like I need <laughs> this done by three thirty two p.m. and Spiv's like, I will send it at three thirty one, and yeah. send. Now, 
I think that would just keep me on the ball in my job because I know that if I tick Spiv off just a little bit with one off request, I well, so, better be so fucking one hundred percent. Here's the problem, shit. You're operating in a world where, like, the timer resets. I think that if you, like, di didn't, like, wear nice enough clothes to the office one day, you're just forever marked for death in the SPIV calendar. Okay. You're, yeah. you're yeah. fucked. There's, there are no second chances. There's mm. one. See, that's where the work from home comes in, though. I, that's an eliminating a problem. Nope. You sent an email to her on accident while she was trying to play ARC, and now oh, you're on her right. shit list, and you're never getting anything on time, and you'll yeah, die. You know, maybe... Maybe I'll be Spiv in the scenario. Yeah, being Spiv is definitely the play. Being Spiv's coworker, not the play. It's a lot less optimal. Now, alternatively, I'd be Emma's lackey mm. any day of the week. Okay, now by lackey, will you be in a latex suit in her house with little dog I, ears on your head? I'm picturing the Devil's Wear Prada. I see. Now, I'm... That un level, like, I'm, you haven't watched that? Nope. I know Great. there's a band called the Devil Wears Prada. No, My mom used to that. watch that movie on repeat, dude. I love that movie. Repeat. Yeah. Could not. Tell your mom we're having a watch party. <laughs> I'll bring some snacks. Good movie. <sighs> I never, I don't think I ever actually watched it. Like, I know she would watch it all the time. So, like, I would hear, like, bits and pieces of it. But I never <laughs> sat down and, like, watched the whole movie. Yeah, I couldn't tell you the fuck the movie's about in even the slightest. Also, well, it has to do with fashion. That's true. I know that that's part of the plot. Also, we've we've hit an hour, so um, you know, congratulations to everyone. Exactly. I have the fuck out of my video still. Um, congratulations uh, to those of you who went to uh, Ready or Not Thursday, which will be, this will be the first time you hear about it probably, but it will have happened last Thursday. So if you went, you know, I had a lot of fun with you. It was great. Ready Thursday. Well, oh, you, oh, you were your headset was off. Yeah, Rooks. Oh, I'll make a, a sign up for it for uh, next week. We're gonna play Ready or Not. But of course, is by that, next week, I mean content. No, we, it's just to have fun. Recorded. Or... I mean, it'll be I'll recorded. Be it'll it'll okay, be recorded, good. but like it'll still just be for the sake of having fun. All right. Well, I want everybody to see how tactical I am. Yeah, you're gonna be sick I as hell, dude. Wait. You're gonna guide Take us. Time. Anyways, may um, eat a bag of dicks and uh, you're stupid. Bye, Ellie. There you go.